A blessed day and welcome. The scripture for meditation this morning comes to us from the book of Psalms, chapter 103 and verse 3. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Today's scripture portrays the very character of the Lord. This psalm was written by King David, a man God declared close to his heart. The psalm begins with praising God and gratefully remembering what he has done while going on to praise God for forgiveness and healing. The word declares that he doesn't forgive some sin but all sins. And we go on to read in verse 12 that as far as the east is from the west, so far God has removed our transgressions from us. Significantly, forgiveness of sin is the benefit listed first. In David's mind, the most important thing was to have sins forgiven even more important than physical healing. One's salvation is more critical than all that one can desire. During a revival meeting, there was an altar call to receive Christ and a man in a wheelchair came forward to the stage requesting for prayer for healing. While the evangelist approached him, He asked, Sir, would you like to receive Jesus as your personal saviour? The man replied, If I am healed, I will receive Jesus as my saviour. To which the evangelist replied, Sir, it is better to go to heaven crippled rather than walk into hell. The evangelist's point was that it is better to receive Jesus and be saved eternally rather than be healed and go to hell. Forgiveness of sin is the greatest blessing one can receive from the Lord. And one who has experienced such forgiveness will always forgive and let go just like the Lord. We learn three important lessons today. Firstly, forgiveness precedes healing. Secondly, to receive salvation and forgiveness of sin is greater than everything else. And thirdly, one who has been truly forgiven will also forgive those who have wronged him or her. Let's continue to praise and thank God while displaying his mercy toward others as well. Let us pray. Dear Abba Father, thank you for your son and his sacrifice on the cross. May we display the same mercy toward those who don't deserve it as well. Let us forgive as you have forgiven us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.